Mike Tech, The Hub Show. Jay Heish, I am here, Hagerstown, the center of Hagerstown at the dual highway going into town here. I am at the Game Room Garage in the Cornout Warehouse right across yeah. the street. The Game Room Garage is the retail side of everything. This is where, uh, yeah, this is American Pickers on crack. This is all the jukeboxes and cabinet arcade games, the ones we grew up playing, spending our quarters on. Uh, this guy collects them. You and your father, right? Yep. And this is Ben. Ben, and, your, and your, what's your last name? Thoburn. Thoburn? Thoburn. Thoburn. Yep. All right. Ben Thoburn. This is your dad's business or the family business, right? Yep. He started it uh, 35 years ago. Started collecting, just going around collecting the machines yep. and everything? Yeah. Buying, then buying and selling. And that's basically started with one and probably 100,000 machines later. And here we are now, right? Here we are now. Okay. You guys are from, he, your father's from the Baltimore area, right? Actually from Northern Virginia. So we okay. grew up in Reston. Okay. And, uh, moved up here awesome um you live here in hangerstown yep you do yeah i do your dad's still down there and he's still down in gaithersburg oh, okay he's so looking he's... for a house up here but... okay and you chose hangerstown for some strategic reasons obviously the uh cost of the warehousing is cheaper up here and uh the, we have a great access to 70 and 81 right. so we can go north south east west easy for the trucks easy for the trucks yeah and, uh, we say trucks. I, I follow them on Facebook, the Coin Out Warehouse. I swear every day there's a truck pulling up. Yes, every day. More week. stuff. Jukeboxes, arcade games, all that stuff. Uh, a truck just pulled up now across the street. That's the Coin Out Warehouse where they stash everything. <laughs> We're going to go in there later. Um, but right now, you said there's what's on that trailer? There's about 30 jukeboxes that I picked up in Chicago. 30 jukeboxes from Chicago. And over here to my right, Kevin's left, this car a rental car from Florida. These people are from Belgium. Yeah. And over to, uh, two containers to go to a museum over in Holland. Two containers, containers of what? The jukeboxes? Uh, jukeboxes, arcade games, pinballs, Everything you sell, basically. Everything coin off. Wow. Everything coin off. This is nuts. This is the game room garage. We're going to go inside of it. This is the retail side that's open to the public. And afterwards, we're going to go across the street to uh, the warehouse at the dungeon, which is <laughs> yeah. nothing but coin off arcade games and jukeboxes. It's almost like a graveyard in there, but they're all there to be fixed up and yep. spruced up. It's all get restored and play again. But how many, how many corn out machines do you, I think you post on Facebook every day? At least six. At least six, probably some days, probably 15 to 20. Yeah, right. But, and a lot of times I see the word sold after a lot of, they just go. Yeah, they sell usually within minutes. So. Wow. What's the hottest, what's, what comes in that sells the quickest? Probably the newer pinball machines. Really, pinball machines are hot. Yeah. The jukebox machines they sell? They sell, they don't sell as fast as the pinballs. Most people have one jukebox in their house, but they don't mind having 30 or 40 pinballs. I'm a DJ. People are putting the jukeboxes in their house. Yeah. CDs and the, and CDs, the vinyl. 45s. Yeah. This is nuts. This is, uh, well, we're about to go in here. This is the American Pickers on crack. This is like the warehouse for them, but this is their house. This is the corn out warehouse, the game room exchange. We're gonna head inside with Ben and check out the, uh, the open to the public retail side.
Ben, what do you think the oldest pinball machine you have in here is? Uh, probably Slugger. Slugger right here? Yeah. What, what year do you think this is? Do you guys know when you bring these in? Is there any history with these things? Yeah, this one actually came out of a museum in Atlanta. Okay. They were just selling it, giving it up? Or? Yeah, the guy was running out of space. So <laughs> he was uh, moving out some of his other stuff. Yeah, they want $2,100 for two grand. And uh, what, what year do you think that is? Yes. 52, 53, 50s, huh? All right. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Here's a giant gumball machine. Pepsi vending machine. Nice. This stuff just sells, huh? Collectors. Yeah. Nice. You get beer cans from all over the world here. <laughs> <laughs> Love well, it, man. Something for everyone. Something for everyone. That's big with people, too, huh, Ben? The old restaurant signage and all that stuff? Yeah, we're one of the few places we can have some of the bigger signs, so a lot of these But, I mean, is there someone actually collecting Dairy Queen time, for instance? Yeah, because they remember going to Dairy Queen. It's just, just great memories. It just does it for them. Yeah. actually was uh, one we sold to a guy in uh, Georgia. Really? Has, yeah, he has another huge warehouse like this. He has, was it a big Golden Arch? It's like, like 20 foot high. Like the one that goes out? Yeah. Yep. And he bought it? Yeah. Where'd you put that? He has a huge collection like this in a warehouse like this. The 20 foot tall Golden Arches, where do you, where do you even... It has to go outside. No, it's in his building. He has a building. He has a yeah, warehouse. He has a big warehouse like this. Wow. With cars. That's crazy, man. All right. Hey, we'll be right back with more of this stuff. Again, we're at the Game Room Garage. What's, I know, what's the address here? Uh, 367 East Franklin Street. Right. We're right off the dual highway. Off the dual highway. You can't miss the big red barn looking thing. Nice, nicely redone uh, parking yep. lot. Well paid, parking. new parking. Yeah, this is great. So bring the kids. Educate them. Yes. What they're missing. <laughs> Put down the video games and come over to this place. <laughs> yeah, my dad actually had an arcade in 1992, so okay. when I was growing up, I was able to play a bunch of games brand new. So. Oh, yeah, once they came in, you got to test them out and all that stuff. Yeah, so all I right. remember Mortal Kombat was out. And the then original. The original, and then when Mortal Kombat 2 came out, I got to play it before everybody else. <laughs> so. Rubbing their face, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. So you guys collect a lot of stuff. Like, we got a... A horse-drawn carriage here. Yes, my dad will buy just about anything he thinks is cool. So it somehow really? catches his eye. And... I'm, I'm no. Uh, this is a hearse. It's a hearse for children, actually. So that's like you guys I... stole it from the haunted mansion down at Disneyland or something. <laughs> it's probably where it belongs. <laughs> right. All right. And there's more back here. And it's, it's just it's amazing, right? You can make movie sets in here, man. Look at these. These old radios, man. See, I, I love this stuff, but I have no business even thinking about plunking money down for something. Where would I put it? Is, is, it, is it operable? No, just for decoration. Uh, you do, you, do you know what year this is? Do you have a history of this thing? No, Probably 1937, 30, 30. Before television, kids. Yeah. Every house had to have one. Everyone one had. On the TV. That's right. <laughs> you gather around the radio. Yeah. And this cooler actually is... Uh, Made in Hagerstown. The Victor Company was made it was in Hagerstown over on Pope Avenue. Oh really? Yeah. So the Victor Company. They Victor made, Company. They made uh, like, Coca-Cola coolers oh. and Coke machines. They had a Coke contract. Yes. Nice. So they got shipped all over the world. The Victor Company with the broken V here on this Coke machine. Right here in Hagerstown, folks. They here they were here for about sixty years. Let me see. Hagerstown, Maryland. Wow. We have our place. Yes. Place in history. Especially for Coke. Well, yeah. Hagerstown is well known because they made the best of the best for coolers. Yeah, they are. All right. So, but like as far as you were obviously you play video games in the arcade, we talked about that. What, what, get, what games do you like? When, what comes off the truck that you go, oh, I remember that. It's, it's too Mortal Kombat yet. is probably my, my favorite. You keep those? They, they come in, they get sold. Yeah, they have huh? a, a Bumbles, which is this weird. I remember game that game. 83. It had a ball, right? A track ball. It just had like a, a joystick. I have one in my, my little workshop, but everybody keeps trying to buy it. In his me. workshop. He stashes but it. Nobody Really? Won't, won't you get it. bids for it? You won't yeah. give it up? No. Nope. <laughs> Bubbles. That's right. I remember that game. I also remember they have one over here, Karate Champ. I used to, yeah, my hands went numb playing that in the 80s, <laughs> man. Just being covered up by another jacket. So you get them in. Do you do repairs on them? I can do repairs on them. Most of the stuff just comes in and goes out the way it is. Cause Half the people's fun is they spend their Saturday cleaning up a game that was 
collapsing in a crappy warehouse and then they bring it back to life. Because I see that you guys post on Facebook, you get a lot of machines in that have like the modern, or it has a different game on the front than on the sides. So they got converted, so as the game broke or mm -hmm. the game sucked, yeah. they just they would take all the guts out of it and put, put the game in it that right. was fun. Yeah. Whatever, whatever was selling, yeah. So the cabinet kept on making money for the operator. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just a, t it's a TV tube in there. Correct. Right, you just change the signage on it. Yep. Okay. All right. So, for instance, here we are in the warehouse. This is just one truck, right? How many trucks are parked outside right now? Uh, two. This one's headed to... Uh, oh, that one's leaving here. Yeah, this one's a container headed, headed to Holland. Headed to Holland. Oh, the guys. Okay. Yep. How many truckloads are they taking? They're taking uh, two 40 foot containers out of here. Two 40 tonight. foot containers. Yeah. Wow. So this stuff right. comes in looking like pure junk. Yeah. Like this. Right. You send it over there and they'll totally restore it. Well, they're bringing it, it to, to Europe, to Holland. Is the thing is, is it, it's antique stuff. It's old stuff. Are they more into Americana? They I mean, they have their own stuff over there. They but love American stuff. Right. So the American's got a Coke stamped on it or anything. Yeah, and Ameri for coin op, American stuff was the best of the best. I gotcha. So we had a huge industry for it over here. Yeah. Well, yeah. And so all the manufacturers oh, yeah. were headquartered here. and they, So the stuff, even now, is U.S. companies getting stuff getting shipped over there. Wow. They can buy it up. They love it. Huh? They love it. They yeah, actually, it's the base invaders in yeah. the back. Look at that. <laughs> they, they make it perfect again. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wacko, this is actually a really cool game. Have you, have you heard of it before it came off the truck? I've never seen this before. They were very rare. I thought something rare. wrong with the cabinet, then I got no. it. No. So they were just an odd game that never took off. Yeah. Valley Midway, they were the ones back in the day. They, they were so the for every Pac-Man that came out, there were probably 50 other games that just yeah. never made any money. And but Pac-Man lived the way and it came with it. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. you want a Pac-Man, you've got to take a couple of these games with it, too. That's exactly But what whatever. These guys have to line their walls in these arcades and just fill it up. Kids right. play so it all day. Right. filler games. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Blast in the past. Jay and I are back here with, with uh, Ben. And we're going through the game room garage. This is, we could be in here all day. This is nuts, man. And this probably chance. This is a game. Part next to an arch ride with another one of my games. Mike. That's what I'm talking about. I used to play the crowd. <laughs> my best friend was back in, uh, up in New Hampshire on the beaches, seacoast of New England. Ben, so we were just talking, uh, you know, friends were talking about pinball machines. People see a Playboy pinball machine, they think that's collectible. You, you, you have an eye for this stuff? You know what it is? Yeah, it is? so I go in there and see. I mean, Playboy was hugely successful, so they had they made tons of them. And they were in every arcade. So it's, a lot of the stuff that you've heard of isn't necessarily one of the most valuable. A lot of the stuff right. you go in there and it's titles you've never heard of. Like, have a Dragon Fist over there. They only made 300 of them. So they're worth a lot. So they're worth a lot because right. you just can't find them. So a lot of that stuff, even if you have tons of money, you just plain can't buy it. But wow. if you want a Playboy, everybody can get your Playboy. Pinball machines, what do you think is the most, what's the cream of the crop, the holy grail? Uh, what haven't you got your hands on yet that's out there that you know is worth a pretty penny? Uh, Valley Bigfoot. It was their really? their answer to Atari's uh, Hercules, which you actually played a. Uh, I've seen that. It's a huge pinball. Huge machine. pinball. Yeah, yeah, we saw that recently. I yeah. forget where now used at the restaurant. Uh, used a pool ball. Yeah, actually, it was so big. Let me see that at. Oh, I saw that at Hershey Park in their yeah, arcade. Yeah, Hershey Park. Yes. They had the Hercules yeah. one. I didn't play it, but I remember looking at it going, it was a lot bigger than the ones that was sitting next to. Yeah. So Bigfoot is. Bigfoot even, was Bally's. They only made ten. I think there's only. Two left known to exist. From the 70s, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Big place. It's not Squatch. Hey, so you are telling me you're going to expand this place. Yeah. So this is now essentially full. So in this room next door, we don't usually have it ripped off. This is not, everything is sold. Everything, everything in here is here. sold? Everything is sold. Uh, uh, Shift or pick up by a trucking company or Mortal Kombat 4. There's Space Invaders again. Double Dragon 2. So our goal is once we finally get everybody to pick up their stuff and we get out of this section, we can mm -hmm. uh, expand into here. Um, so. We're not going to walk all the way down here, but you get a good idea if you just this pan is, the this, camera this around. This was going to be my workshop, but you can see my bubbles in there. Oh, uh, that, this is your this is your office right here. Yeah. <laughs> so you have you have a Miss Pat Man? I have a Miss Pat Man. 
it's like the most perfect Ms. Pac-Man I've ever found. <laughs> Objective. Oh, yes. I've had probably thousands and thousands. Look, man, I've seen Pac-Man. a bunch of Ms. Pac-Mans. I know you even have a, a baby, no, a junior Pac-Man yeah. somewhere here. Or junior Pac-Man. Pac-Man. You have the Pac-Man? Original uh, Pac-Man. There's some. There's some in here. Sold. Right here. Actually. Those come in. Those yeah. Those, yeah. those get sold, right? They get sold quick. Yeah. So here's one here. Do you remember around while well, you were born? That they, I remember 1983 seeing a baby Pac-Man that had a pinball machine with it. Yes. Of right. course you have. There's Super yeah. Pac-Man over here. Yeah. There's Pac-Man. I was ready to go to France. There's, there's going to Pac-Man France. Like baby Pac-Man. For all you kids, yeah, they're never gonna make that for the uh, the PS4 or anything. No, you can't. There's a pinball machine attached to it. Burger time. Come check it out. There's a Kiss. That's probably the number one '80s pinball there is. Oh yeah. There's an original Kiss. Wait, where at? I'm lost. What was the number? Another '80s reference, kid. That's from the '70s. Thirty-two hundred bucks, but it's sold, right? Sold. Yep. Where's it going? It's going to France. What's with a lot of these things are here going to France? <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have. Stuff going to France, Italy, yeah, Holland, Belgium, Holland. Holland, Thailand. Yeah. Um, there's two different guys in France that are doing containers. Wait, what? Do, what's wrapped up down here that's sold to Paul it's, Zubek? It's a, uh, a Pennzoil trash can. Oh, oh yeah, Pennzoil is a big thing too, huh? And the old, and all the so gas signage, the gas, gas and oil, all that stuff. gas and oil. Crazy. Okay, let's go show the baby. Here's one of these. This, huh? this is probably the. Most asked for a game, I get. Is that root beer tapper? That's regular. Bug regular tapper. tapper. Bug tapper. Yeah. So I've seen root beer tapper in the arcade back when they played that, but there was actually. They made bud tapper for <laughs> bars, but cool. you didn't want to have a Budweiser game in the kids' arcade, so they came out with root beer tapper. Same game, but it's uh, a served root beer. Yeah, yeah. Budweiser. Look at that. I never even saw that, but it's going to Germany. Sold. Yeah. Popeye. Popeye. That was a cool one, too. Check this out, kids. Two burger times. Look, there's the what do you, what do you, what do you the call cocktail, these? Cocktail, cocktail tables. Cocktail yep. tables, right? Yep. And then there's the stand-up cabinet over there past the Kiss machine. All sold. All sold. And going to France. These rooms are going to Germany. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything in this room staying in the states? Uh, that side. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. you have it kind of broken so up kind of regionally, yeah. geographically. So I have on the floor that used to be these are the size of a 40-foot container. So that way I would know when the containers are ready to go. Okay, this is all in saran wrap. I have not seen these in any arcade since, I swear. They're tough this to is keep baby Pac-Man. It's hard to tell. To but inside here is a pinball machine. So like you would get to a certain level on the screen here, and all of a sudden you would be playing a pinball machine. Unbelievable, man. It was bad. Those are the good games. Idea before it's time. <laughs> well, I think that's the only game I've seen do that. They it's made baby uh, Pac-Man, and it's going to Germany. That one is actually going to Australia. <laughs> Other so. side. Yep. Okay. Going down under, folks. All right. Yeah. Look at this. Super Pat Man. See a couple of those. That's where all the stuff from the museum was. Now they cleared out their section. So this is part of the section you want to expand into? Yes. Okay. So you can kind of see where the, there's openings that we have pegboard in front of. But once we expand in here, we'll have all those open. So open to the public. Do, does anybody come in here and actually dump some quarters in? And, Take the no, we, karate champ, but what's the deal? You can play it, but we try to make people not think it's just an arcade where you drop off your kids. So that's some kids, people made that mistake. People come in here and then they're like, "Oh, it's an arcade." And we're like, "No, everything's actually really? for sale." Yeah. Pens oil and everything on the wall, Budweiser signs. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> people, huh? Yeah, no yep. Oh, look, Kevin, we found it. Now you guys had the sit-down cabinet version of Star Wars. One of my that's favorite games from back in the day. <laughs> so what's, what's the deal with Star Wars? Now, I understand we were looking it up a couple months ago before you even saw it on the site, on your Facebook page. This is the standard version. Yeah. Now, you got the word keep on. You keeping that one? That was an operator that I got. He didn't want to sell it, but there's a price for everything. So <laughs> would you he sold it to me. What would you buy that for? Uh, 1200 1200 Now, the sit-down one, I understand there's only so many of those made. Those are pretty rare. Very rare compared to the uprights. So probably for every uprate, yeah. every ten uprates, they made one sit down. Man, you could make some money if you turn that one off. <laughs> Another one over there. Yeah, straight ahead in the back. Star Wars. This is the side of it, kid. Boy, you uh, Jedi nuts out there, man. Does that Star Wars cabinet? Does that work? Nope. No. Star Wars is very tough to keep working. They used a special kind of one that was colored lines. Yeah, it was. The graphics yeah, are all that green. Color vector. Okay. So the monitors used to 
really high voltage and mm -hmm. tend to burn up. So the one you bought that we looked at here, does that one work? Or nope. Are you going to make it work as a plan? Nope. Let's go to a museum in Hungary. <laughs> They're taking all the good stuff, man. <laughs> this, is a, it's like the this is like the arcade graveyard in here, man, a bit. I mean, how many of these machines don't work? Probably the majority of them. But, but where it's going, they're going to try to fix it. They're going to totally restore it. Yeah. Wow. This is nuts. Look, afterburner. More Zaxxon. I see a couple of Zaxxons in your, in your building. Another baby pack, man. Oh, there's baby pack, man. This one has no saran wrap on it, so we can kind of get yeah, somewhat of an idea. It's the pinball right. cabinet, too. It's kind of tore up. <laughs> there's no glass top. Yeah. Not operable, obviously. No. Okay. My fun is finding it. This is going like to Budapest. <laughs> I got to guess. That one, I think, is going to England. England. All right. We can do that. I would love to see one look operable, but it ain't going to happen. They're fun. No. It's tough. Wow. A lot of this stuff had batteries on it to save your score. So that yeah, way the right. machine got turned off. But after 20 years, we get the batteries out, so they leave. This is nuts. Star Wars. Eraser. These are still set up like in movie theaters. Still. Yeah, yeah, you still see them out. Yeah. Yeah. They had this one at uh, Hershey Park. Hershey Park had yeah. that and, But then most movie theaters have a newer version that isn't two-player. It's like yeah, pod the new one they have right. uh, Battle Pod. Anyway, you're 34. Are you a Star Wars nut? What, are you, oh, what else are you a fan of, man? I love Star Wars. Star Wars is... It's not just about the game room garage. It's about you, Ben. You're a Star Wars guy? Star Wars guy, yeah. yeah? I Which episode? <laughs> um, can't say. You can't know. say four. Just four the is always the best. Just the of originals, course. of course. Yeah. No, the new yeah. ones I watched, I think the last time I watched it, I'll see. Did you like the newer, newer one? Episode 7? Episode 7 was, was good. Yeah. Keeping with the vein of the original trilogy, you felt? Yeah. Okay. I took my girlfriend. She fell asleep halfway through, so she's not a Star Wars nut. Looking at all these Star Wars machines and arcade, I forgot to ask him. You know, he lives in a Star Wars family. So right. people aren't. All right, welcome back to the Hub Show, Jay Heish, and with Ben here at the well, we were at the game room game room garage. Now we're across the street at the Coin Op Warehouse, and this is really the graveyard for everything we're talking about. Here. Come on in. We're at 435 East Franklin. I mean, this is just the beginning, tip of the iceberg here. A world at search. Jukeboxes, man. Defender. And here we go. Let's watch our stuff up these stairs, but this is a game of wet game to have in here. So. Come on in. Yeah. Gauntlet. <laughs> gauntlet legend. You got an original gauntlet? Not in here. No. Oh. Is that the hard one? I love the pop lights though, I love those machines. Yeah. Alright. A lot of dollies in there too. Some vintage dollies and new ones. Wes, one of our warehouse guys. Hey man, what's going on, Wes? Helps keep it organized. Right. Wes is the man. Again, rows and rows and rows going back the other direction. Nothing but cabinets, football machines, junk and alien. There's the Playboy. That's the one people are going nuts over. Yeah, that. <laughs> Newer stuff, old stuff. Tokyo Drift, Fast and Furious. Yeah, new and old, man. Seems like Doodle Jump, and then you have 50 Street. Right next to each other. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason in here, huh, Ben? It takes a coin. Yeah, if it takes a coin, that's it. Line them up. And there's brand new basketball games that are even unpacked. Stuff still in the box. Power of Terror. <laughs> I've never even seen some of this stuff. Shocks you. Hey, look, Rampage Kids. Awesome. You have a game called Rolling Thunder. That was one of my favorites, man. I get a lot of those. Do you really? Yeah. Maybe I'll buy one of those. Yeah. Can you imagine looking at my wife's face? I bring home one of these things. Hey, there's Ron McDonald again. I don't know why they don't focus on the characters anymore at McDonald's, man. I understand that. I think, they, over I think they creep people out nowadays. That yeah. clown creeps people out? Yeah. Everybody's politically it's correct. Hulk Hogan's you know? colors and everything. I mean, what, <laughs> what's to creep you out? Grimace and yeah, the hamburger. People that are afraid of clowns. I don't even understand why Popeyes, the restaurant, got rid of the cat. I thought that was fun. Why uh, wouldn't you call Popeyes one anymore? It's still good for God's sake. Louisiana. <laughs> Red beans and rice. Yeah, Tron. I remember that when it came out. 
back in 82. Look at that. Again, man, we can be in here all day long, but uh, this is just nuts. Look at claw machines. How far back do claw machines go? When do they start doing these? They go back. Here's okay. one from the 30s. Oh, that's a claw machine from the 30s. Yeah. Monarch merchandise. I bet they were hot at one time, man. Yeah, and you actually are. still see them like in Ocean City. A lot of the arcades still have some of the original 30s crates. It's probably been there since the 30s. Yeah. Yeah, Atlantic yeah. City, all those places, huh? Yeah. yeah. Battle Zone, I remember that. Lots of defenders in here. Hey, the original Mortal Kombat kids. We've seen two, four, I think three somewhere. But here's the original. I spotted Mr. Do. A lot of defenders too. Yeah, See a Defender couple was of those. Very popular. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Defender has like eight buttons on it. And one goes. I remember that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's do this. Let's go get you up top so you can take a, a pan. Ben, what are we looking at here? This is a <laughs> poor guy. A punching bag, actually. Really? You like, like from when? From probably the early 1900s. It's all cast iron. Is that supposed to be a specific? He probably boxer? was. He was a model, specific it was boxer. Model after him, right? Yeah. You put, wow. You put your coin in. Oh yeah. And you got to see uh, how hard you could punch. Oh, like instead of hitting the, the hammer on the thing, yeah, you set hit there, the belt at the top, you punch. Yeah, there's a big thing right the, here. You, just you punch the black boxer. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's a blast he's, in the past. He's French. He's French. Yeah. How many of these you think? You think? I think there's two. Two of these they existing? 1,500 pounds. Yeah. You bought this, paid what for it? Uh, the museum actually bought it at an auction, I think. 
think really? we paid almost eighty thousand. Eighty thousand dollars for this. Yeah, some history in here, people. For what it's worth, it looks like he's going to do surgery. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be in Holland in two weeks. Going to Holland. Yeah. Wow. Hub Show, Rant and Rave, Jay Heish is back with Ben. We're gonna wrap this baby up, but uh, you, you got to see the other warehouse, the corn out warehouse. This is the graveyard for all things uh, coin op, jukeboxes, arcade games, blast from the past here. We're gonna do something with this. Take us town, pump some blood in this place. Yep. There's other things we can do here to promote events and whatnot. And uh, hey, it's pop culture galore. I'm with Ben, corn out warehouse, game room garage. I'm Jay Heish for the Hub Show. I wanna thank you for joining us. And Ben, we will have you back. Wonderful. I'll be there. All right, perfect. <laughs> See you later.